the students today we are going to discuss uh, one experiment which is there in uh, ug as well as pg syllabus that is the effect of drugs on rabbit eye particularly the mydriasis as well as meiosis activity has tested on the rabbit previously rabbit was used for carried out this experiment but now the simulated softwares are available by the use of that software one can perform these experiments let's see the detail of these experiments what is mydriasis so mydriasis is nothing but the dilation of the pupil size and this dilation usually having a non physiological cause which includes some diseases uh, trauma or the use of certain drugs opposite to mydriasis is the meiosis it is also called as meiosis it is the excessive constriction of the pupil and the terms comes from the ancient greek word mean it means to close the eye now this is the normal eye this is a pupil size and here if you observe these are the circulatory muscle which is also called as the short ciliary nerve and they are innervated with parasympathetic nervous system and as you know parasympathetic nervous system the neurotransmitter is acetylcholine which is released as that site it also contain the spincher pupilla which is responsible for constriction and relaxation of the pupil then we have some another that is long ciliary nerve it is also called as the dilator pupilla and this long ciliary nerve they are innervated with the sympathetic nervous system where the neurotransmitter is adrenaline and they are called as the dilator pupilla so during the contraction and relaxation of this pupil this spincher pupilla as well as the dilator pupilla plays a very important role let's see how it will happen so in case of mydriasis and meiosis in case of mydriasis there is a contraction of dilator pupilla and relaxation of spincher pupilla as a result the pupil size is increased compared to the normal size if you see the actual picture here you can observe the black color dark black color pupil the size of the pupil is increased opposite to this is the meiosis where you can observe that there is a relaxation of dilator pupilla and a constriction of the spincher pupilla as a result there is a constriction of the pupil size which leads to the meiosis here you can observe in picture that a small constriction of the pupil if you observe in both the figure you can immediately understand here there is a dilation of pupil which is called as the mydriasis here the constriction of the pupil it is the meiosis now certain drugs are responsible for the meiosis as well as mydriasis condition you can observe here now here constriction of dilator pupil this will cause by alpha 1 adrenergic agonist drug then relaxation of spincher pupilla it is caused by anti muscarinic or ganglionic blocker whereas in case of the meiosis the relaxation of dilator pupil is caused by alpha 1 adrenergic agonist then adrenergic neuron blocker whereas the constriction of the spincher pupilla it will be caused by muscarinic agonist and anticholinesterase so if you have a drug under this particular category you can check the effect of this drug on the eye or if you have the unknown drug with such types of potential you can test that drug on the rabbit eye let's see how the experiment is performed here in this case we have to take the rabbit male female rabbit it's okay then you can hold this rabbit into the rabbit cage then consider the left eye as a control which will not be treated with any drug whereas right eye should be considered as a treatment eye which can be treated with the drug 
Now here the rabbit is selected because rabbit's eye is prominent and visually you can observe the changes in the pupil size in case of the rabbit, whereas it is impossible in case of rat as well as the mice. So always compare the reaction of the pupil as compared to the left eye. Now, you have n number of drugs or the drugs which you want to test. You can put a drop of that drug into the eye. Two conditions will happen. If your drug having potential to produces the mydriasis, that is a dilation of the pupil as well as the uh, constriction of the pupil. So it may produces the dilation of pupil which causes the mydriasis. It produces the constriction of the pupil it uh, may produce the meiosis. So apart from this one, that the drug effect, you can also check the refluxes, like light refluxes and touch refluxes in case of the eye. So here, again, you observe that the if you put a light refluxes by using a torch, you can put a light refluxes, then the eye shows the blinking. So either there is a blinking of eye or there is no blinking of eye accordingly you can put the response so uh, uh, along with the mydriasis meiosis that is dilation and constriction of the pupil this parameter is also considered that is the light reflux then touch reflux if you take the cotton bud and you can uh, keep near to the eye of the rabbit it will show the blinking of the eye accordingly. You can check the absence and presence of the responses. Then third is to measure the intraocular pressure in the eye because mydriasis and meiosis can lead to the alteration in the intraocular pressure in the eye of the rabbit. So tonometer is an instrument which is used to measure the intraocular pressure. Normally, the intraocular pressure in case of the rabbit is 15 and 23 mm of Hg. It is in between this. So this picture shows how tonometer is used to check the intraocular pressure into the animal. Then you have to prepare the observation table. In this observation table, you can use the drug. Then you can have the column of pupil size. You can have the column of light reflux, touch reflux and intraocular pressure. So you can put the drug which you are going to test and you can write down the observation, whether pupil size is increased or decreased as compared to control. You can write here light reflux present or absent. You can write touch reflux present or absent. You can write and whatever intraocular pressure you got by which of tonometer, you can write here the uh, intraocular pressure. Nowadays, uh, this experiment is carried out using some simulated software uh, software and uh, in that software you can get all this facility where you can put a drug and you can observe the constriction relaxation light reflux touch reflux intraocular uh, pressure etc so uh, if you like this video and if you want such types of more uh, videos which will be helpful for you please subscribe share uh, the video and thanks for uh, listening this uh, video thanks